just a very nice friendship. Nice to ever as a friend. I met Harkushin on the first day, of course, and she was very excited to be here, so was everyone else. When I arrived at BSS, I was really nervous. And she's like, where are you from? I'm like, from the Bahamas. And she's like, I'm from New Mexico. I'm like, oh wow, that's very nice. And it just felt weird, because we're like, what music do you like? And we're like, I don't know, One Direction, I don't know, One Direction. <laughs> It's interesting, I talk to a lot of parents when they drop their daughters off for that very first day in boarding. The one common thing that I hear all the time that I'm very glad to hear is that we want them to experience a BSS education. When the boarders first arrive, our first outing tends to be a Toronto activity. So supervised with staff, we'll go to something fun like a play or a movie or a unique kind of restaurant or shopping. I really like Toronto because you can walk everywhere, you don't need a car, you can take the subway. Toronto is just a great city to live in. The goals of boarding are really an opportunity for each girl to understand who she is, her place in the world, to become an independent young woman, to have a chance to learn leadership skills, to find a voice and a multiplicity of voices because we have students from all over the world. And yes, to even do her own laundry. I made it onto the volleyball team. Boarders face three challenges. I think the first one is homesickness. Okay, bye, Mama. Hi. I think the second one is community living. And I think the third one is time management because they have very real set goals about academic achievements, sports achievements, arts achievements, and free time. So the staff help them to learn how to prioritize, how to set goals, and to make sure that they're making time for healthy living, sleep, exercise, some joy. <laughs> Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal, Mariana? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? It's very important to us that our girls at BSS have an opportunity to develop a global perspective and a very ethical mindset. What better way to do that than living in a community that has students from over 20 different countries as well as students from Canada. So you get this amazing Canadian perspective, but you might also get a Mexican perspective, someone from Ethiopia, what's it like in a developing country versus a developed country. Fascinating discussions happen up in boarding. I actually feel like I'm learning a lot more because they do everything that involves like partnership and working together, interactive activities that stick with your brain forever. It's very important to us at Bishop Strawn that um, girls have access to education irrespective of their financial background or their parents' financial background. And about 50% of the dollars we have in financial aid currently go um, towards borders and attracting new borders. And we're, you know, very interested in getting the greatest girls that we can. The best part of my day is 3.30 <laughs> when school gets out where everybody's coming in and that sense that everybody's home. And you'll meet girls in the hall and they'll come in to sign in and they'll just tell you quickly something that happened with their day or they've got a question. And boarding comes alive. Welcome home I bid you welcome I bid you welcome